with a modern day test of the 1985-1986 Honda ATC 350X in the books, we knew that the mighty old Thumper was a serious sport machine for the trail, with a four-stroke engine that was high performance for its time. While the 350X wasn't designed and built for the track, there were those who chose to race it, at a time when racing four-strokes was cool, or at least different from the norm. An ATV Action Magazine article published in 1985 featuring a CT Racing National Caliber Honda ATC 250R inspired us to see how well we could make our 350X perform for vintage motocross racing. This build also serves as a buyer's guide for any 350X owner looking to restore or upgrade their machine for the track, trail, or anywhere in between. Beginning with a full teardown, our machine's rebirth began with the chassis. We sent the frame to TPC Trikes, where they sandblasted it, repaired a couple of small cracks, touched up some factory welds, and installed one of their extensive 19-piece gusset kits. TPC's gusset kits were developed over a decade of racing the 350X and were designed to enhance strength while reducing frame flex for improved handling. After receiving our frame back in the mail, we inspected it and found TPC's welds to be pretty clean and consistent. All balls, head tubes, swing arm, and axle carrier bearings replaced the stock bearings, providing a tight, wobble-free chassis. At the end of our freshly powder-coated stock swing arm, we installed a DuraBlue heavy-duty plus 4-inch adjustable width axle. The extra width is essential for motocross as it increases stability while reducing traction for easier sliding. The heavy-duty axle is claimed to be twice as strong as stock and is covered by a six-month warranty. A pair of DuraBlue standard width racing hubs eliminates the wobbly stock worn-out hubs. The DuraBlue hubs are light and strong thanks to their aluminum construction with steel inserts. I really like the way this thing handles now. It's so much more stable. Uh, going into the turns, you can actually go faster and it doesn't try to bicycle near as fast. It's a lot more predictable uh, and it feels more like, like a race bike, like it was intended for a track now. We wanted to significantly improve the 350X suspension while keeping it truly vintage. So we turned to the vintage dirt bike and ATV suspension experts at Racetech, specializing in custom applications Racetech didn't back down from the challenge of setting up suspension for a machine that they'd never done before. They drilled out the forks, lower compression holes for unrestricted oil flow, and installed their gold valve emulators. The emulators mimic the function of cartridge forks, separating out the compression and rebound circuits for individual tunability. The emulator valve controls compression damping using different springs and variable spring preload to control how much the valve opens under a given amount of oil pressure. Changes in rebound damping are achieved using different weight fork oil. To finish off the forks, Racetech switched out the stock springs for stiffer 0.52 kilogram springs. After an initial break and ride, we switched over to 20 weight fork oil set at 5.5 inches from the top of the tube to slow rebound damping a bit. Racetech's Todd Davis tells us that the stock rear shock, short stroke, high leverage ratio, and linkageless design require stiffer settings in the initial part of the travel in order to work best. Racetech replaced the stock piston with their gold valve. The gold valve allows unrestricted oil flow at the piston. Their high flow piston is said to eliminate mid-stroke harshness and puts all of the damping work on Racetech's custom built shim stack. Finishing off the rear shock conversion, the undersprung stock spring was replaced with a 16 kilogram spring. To maximize the reliability of our surgically enhanced forks, we installed a set of Daystar fork boots. They keep grime and debris from getting near fork shafts and seals. Racetech had done a phenomenal job with the suspension uh, given what they had to work with. Uh, the 350X, that's its downfall with its smaller diameter forks and no link on the rear shock. I've noticed you don't blow through the travel near as much as you did. Uh, I actually felt comfortable hitting the bigger jumps and not fear of bottoming. The Racetech suspension really allows me to attack the whoops. It's plush, yet it doesn't pack or deflect or do anything unpredictable, which really helps you to charge hard. Racetech is known for giving vintage suspension modern feel, and they've really given this 350X new life. Whether your motor is built or stock, 
The 350X stock head pipe restricts power. Harkabusic Racing offers a hybrid 400EX head pipe modified to fit the 350X. The design of the EX head pipe features larger diameter bends in the Xs in addition to a different collector design, providing more efficient exhaust flow. Harkabusic's headers go through an extensive cleaning, carbon removal, polishing, and deburring process, yielding a head pipe that looks better than new. We paired our shiny new Harkabusic Racing head pipe with a Super Trap silencer which came on our 350X, complete with a fresh coat of paint. CT's 350X National Motor Package is designed to build upon the stock engine's fun and easy to ride low end and mid range power, providing more horsepower and torque across a broader RPM range. Installing a monster big board kit may increase horsepower, but it does so while sacrificing some snap and willingness to rev. CT bored our cylinder and replaced the stock 81mm 8.5-1 compression piston with an 82mm 12-1 compression piston with custom ground valve pockets from the Los Angeles Piston Company. Keeping the bore size down keeps piston weight down, allowing for faster revving, while the increase in compression will increase horsepower across the RPM range. Next, CT turned their attention to the head, starting off by porting the intake and exhaust ports. Their 5 angle valve job provides optimum flow of incoming and outgoing air and fuel, while providing better seal when the valves are closed. CT sent our 350X cam to Megacycle, where it was hard faced and then reground using Megacycle's 162 30 grind. Megacycle developed this cam for fast riders with a focus on increasing mid range and top end power. Megacycle says that their 162 30 grind must be used with stiffer RD valve springs. CT also had Megacycle hard face our rockers, which Megacycle recommends and CT says is mandatory anytime you use stiffer valve springs on an air cooled Honda. We acquired a nice used 400EX carburetor from Power Sports Nation at a reasonable price. The 38mm carburetor is not only larger than the stock 32mm unit, it also has an accelerator pump. To help our motor last another 30 years, we continued using the Uni Foam Air Filter which came in our X when we purchased it. The Uni offers good flow and exceptional protection against dust and other fine debris. We also use a new first line oil filter from Tusk Off Road with each oil change, delivered right to our door by Rocky Mountain ATV. Sprocket Specialists is one of the few companies producing sprockets for the X, and they offer more gearing options than anyone as they'll custom cut sprockets to fit your needs. We went with a 13 tooth front and 34 tooth rear aluminum sprockets, providing us with gearing that was just a bit taller than stock. A Renthal 520 o-ring chain provides great strength and low maintenance. With the combination of the CT motor package and the Harkabusic head pipe, it has really brought this motor to life. It actually has more low end torque it has a lot more mid-range to it, and where it used to fall on the space at top end, it just keeps on pulling. Compared to the other four strokes of its time, the 350X has always been a fast driver. But with the addition of the CT motor, it's actually made this so much more fun to ride, and you can take it out on modern motocross tracks and hit some big jumps and not have fear of running out of power. Myself and the other racers that have ridden this bike, we all agree that combined with the motor and the stability that this thing really is easy to get comfortable with and actually we're more comfortable riding this than our own machines. We wanted our X's braking performance as crisp as its engine. We replaced the stock brake pads with Tusk brake pads available through Rocky Mountain ATV with rapid delivery and affordable pricing. The old stock rubber brake lines were replaced with Hell Performance brake lines which are constructed of stainless steel braided Teflon hoses. The lines feature a non-abrasive PVC outer coating, along with stainless steel fittings which are permanently swedged together. The front line features a clear plastic guard which runs from the upper part of the front number plate down to the lower fork leg, keeping the line from bending and getting caught in the front tire. The steel braided lines enhance the brake's power and feel while their various line and fitment color options let you customize the look of your machine. Kindis Front Max and Scorpion Rear Tires have been around since the three-wheeler days. The 23.5811 front is an uncommon size due to its 11-inch wheel diameter. The Max features rows of perfectly vertical knobs to provide good directional control. 
The knobs are tall for good hookup on soft tracks, while the top of each lug features vertical grooves, aiding in traction on hard pack track surfaces. The Scorpion rear tires feature closely spaced, diamond-shaped dimpled knobs. The knobs feature more horizontal and less vertical edges, providing more traction while accelerating and braking, and less traction for sliding through turns. These tires feature a harder rubber compound than most modern motocross tires, which will also help them slide more easily and last longer. We went with 18.958s for a motocross appropriate height and the narrowest possible width. OMF's 8-inch billet center wheels with super light drain hole beadlocks and reinforcing rings provide strength, security, and sex appeal. They start light as a DWT 190 wheel. They're then machined to accept OMF's bolt-on billet centers. Being able to swap out the billet centers allows you to change out the wheel's bolt pattern, offset, style, and color. The beadlocks add strength, are machined to be light, and to allow water to drain from behind them. Most importantly, beadlocks keep your tires from popping off the bead when you're running lower tire pressure or in case you get a flat. The reinforcing rings add strength to the inner lip of the wheels and are machined the same weight. Let's face it though, looks matter, and these wheels scream that this isn't your average machine. I've always liked the Kinda Scorpions. They provide great forward traction, but are really easy to break loose and slide, which is essential for going fast on a three-wheeler. The front max, it provides great traction under braking and has great directional control on any surface. PRM has a growing line of aluminum hard parts for the 350X and other popular three-wheeler models. Their chassis skid plate features drain holes, which allow mud and water to wash away. PRM's Z-plate swing arm skid plate offers lots of coverage, and are designed to provide maximum ground clearance. The 350X swing arm skid plate features a built-in chain slider. Both plates bolted up with OE quality fit and better than OE quality construction. Meyer Manufacturing offers plastic for many vintage and modern day applications. Their body parts are thermoformed of TPO polypropylene with a high gloss cap sheet. We acquired a set of their white plastic including front and rear fenders, super shrouds which are larger than the stock tank shrouds, and a front number plate which we trimmed to fit. Meyer shine and fender fitment on the 350X is on par with factory plastic. It's claimed to hold up well to the elements and is proving to be pretty chemical and scratch resistant. With a nasty dent in our stock metal tank, we were relieved to find out that Clark has plastic tanks available for the X. The X's tank is available in red, white, and black and comes with a new gas cap. The Clark tank is lighter than the stock metal tank and plastic is much easier on the knees than metal. Our 350X project received a much more modern feeling cockpit, starting with a major seat makeover from Cosmic Quads. They removed the old cover and worn out foam and replaced it with a new high flight desert foam wrapped in a custom seat cover that Cosmic Quads created for us. The seat cover installation was flawless. The complaint I had with the stock 350X, the seat height was way too low. Uh, the first thing I noticed with this desert height seat foam is it gave it a whole modern feel and it was very comfortable. HRE's two inch wide foot pegs are constructed of TIG welded chromoly. Compared to our narrow, dull, and frighteningly creaky stock pegs, the HRE's offer far greater comfort and way more traction. Our pegs came in wet black powder coat finish, but HRE will powder coat them other colors as well. The HRE pegs are very wide, they're really aggressive, but they feel great out on the track. You don't have to have any fear of losing your footing. Although uh, with the teeth, uh, I kind of wonder if in a crash how much stitches you'll actually get. Renthal 7th 8th inch vintage desert handlebars provide the wide clamping area and tall height needed for the old ATCs. Renthal's ATV grips provide a rough, tiny bullet head-like surface that offers great traction in wet or dry conditions and remain very comfortable no matter how long you ride. Finishing off our build is a pair of ASV F3 unbreakable levers. The levers feature ASV's double hinge design, allowing them to bend backwards in the event of a rollover, which is pretty much a given. The F3 levers are constructed of 6061 aluminum with stainless steel fasteners, 
they are completely rebuildable and covered by a three-year warranty. The F3 Pro Model Clutch Assembly features a trick CNC machine quick adjust setup, double bearings between the perch and the lever, nylon rotator sleeve, and built-in dust covers. Both levers feature adjustable reach and provide a modern feel. They're available in various anodized colors and add a trick finishing touch to your controls. The Renthal bars and the ASB unbreakable levers really give a modern day feel. And although I didn't test the unbreakable name on this bike, they lived up to it on mine. So what do I like about this 350X? It's so easy to ride. Uh, it feels so much like a modern day four wheeler. It's got great power. It's got uh, great throttle response, easy to slide around. The suspension, everything is just put together so good on this bike. Uh, to where anybody can jump on it and just instantly get comfortable with it. All the products we used came together to make this 350X very effective on the motocross track. Dust it off, fix it up, and come racing.